Hey everyone, welcome. In today's video, we have some exciting news about Apple's upcoming foldable devices. That's right, the tech giant is rumored to be working on not one, but two groundbreaking gadgets that could revolutionize the way we use our MacBooks and iPhones. In this video, we'll dive into the details of these foldable wonders, exploring their potential features, release timelines, and what they could mean for the future of Apple's product lineup. So make sure to stick around until the end, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech updates. So let's start with chapters of this review. 1. Apple's late entry into the foldable market. 2. The foldable MacBook iPad hybrid. 3. The first foldable iPhone. 4. Potential specifications and features. 5. What this means for Apple's future. While other major smartphone brands have been embracing foldable technology for a while now, Apple has been noticeably absent from the scene. However, it seems that the Cupertino-based company has been biding its time, possibly perfecting its own take on foldable devices. According to recent reports, Apple is gearing up to launch not just one, but two foldable products in the coming years. This fashionably late entry into the foldable market could be a strategic move, allowing Apple to learn from the successes and failures of its competitors before unveiling its own game-changing devices. Now let's talk about the first of these two rumored devices, the foldable MacBook iPad hybrid. Analyst Jeff Pugh suggests that Apple is working on a 20.3-inch foldable device which is expected to enter mass production by late 2025. This hybrid device could potentially combine the best of both worlds, offering the portability and touchscreen functionality of an iPad with the power and versatility of a MacBook. Hey, imagine being able to fold your laptop in half, transforming it into a tablet for more intuitive interaction and creative work. Moving on to the second device, let's discuss the highly anticipated foldable iPhone. According to Pew's report, Apple is planning to start mass production of its first foldable smartphone in late 2026. This timeline aligns with previous predictions from industry insiders like Ming-Chi Kuo and Ross Young, who have hinted at Apple's progress in developing a foldable iPhone. While the company may be late to the party, it's likely that they're taking the time to perfect the technology and user experience before launching this groundbreaking device. So what can we expect from these foldable marvels in terms of specifications and features? Well, when it comes to the foldable iPhone, Apple is reportedly considering two screen sizes, 7.9 inches and 8.3 inches. These sizes would allow for a compact, pocketable device when folded while still offering a generous display when unfolded for media consumption, multitasking and productivity tasks. As for the foldable MacBook iPad hybrid, its 20.3 inch screen could provide an immersive, expansive workspace for creative professionals and power users alike. the prospect of Apple entering the foldable device market is undeniably exciting, but what does it mean for the company's future? Well, these rumored devices could mark the beginning of a new era for Apple, catering to the ultra-high-end segment with innovative, boundary-pushing products. By embracing foldable technology, Apple has the opportunity to redefine the way we interact with our devices, blurring the lines between laptops, tablets, and smartphones. This could lead to a more seamless, intuitive user experience, allowing us to adapt our devices to suit our needs in any given moment. Well, there you have it, folks. The rumored foldable MacBook iPad hybrid and foldable iPhone from Apple are certainly something to look forward to in the coming years. While we'll have to wait a bit longer to get our hands on these revolutionary devices, the anticipation is already building. What do you think about Apple's foray into the foldable market? Are you excited about the prospect of a foldable MacBook or iPhone? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tech news, reviews, and insights. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.